The huge news which broke about 1, 1 30 in the morning Eastern time. Kevin Durant, TJ Warren from Brooklyn to Phoenix. Nets getting Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, Jay Crowder, who has since been traded to the Bucks, and also for first round unprotected picks and a 2028 pick swap. You know who we need to talk to about all this? Because he's always on top of it. That'd be Chris Haynes. Uh, Chris, so explain the Kevin Durant deal to me, okay? So we saw Kyrie leave. KD's got three years left on his deal. Did he ask for a trade? Did Sean Marks pull the trigger on this? Did Joe Sy say, hey, it's time? How did this all play out? Uh, yeah, Chris, I think it was a great trade for my sons. Uh, and, it, and one of the things to make it great, to a couple things. Number one, KD's a great player, but they got him for a window. You're going to have him and Booker for an extended period of time, so they're going to be in the mix. My concern, you said Reggie Jackson, what is, what's left on their bench? I've been watching television the last couple of days. Everybody was shocked that Toronto, they actually added somebody. Everybody thought they were going to be in the seller's market. What happened in Toronto? I know Charles just sent you on an unexpected flight to Toronto, but now we're going to bring you back to Phoenix. Uh, is this year a championship or bust for the Phoenix Suns? The Los Angeles Lakers have traded Russell Westbrook to Utah. Um, What's the buyout situation there? Where's a likely landing spot for Russ? Chris Haynes, great information as always. Appreciate it very much. And uh, again, a lot of teams in the West getting, uh, getting better and setting the stage for a stretch run that's going to be really interesting. Um, Kenny, we haven't heard from you yet. Uh, what, what, uh, what's your biggest takeaway about what you're seeing in Brooklyn and what this does for Phoenix? Well, first, you know, great information from Chris. And I want to shout out Charles. Because two weeks ago, you sat on this stage and said, this will be the biggest trade deadline in the history of the NBA. And I looked at you and I'm like, what is he talking about? I honestly didn't believe you. And when it started happening, you know, I was like, you did it, Chuck. You said it. You called it. <laughs> I think that, that, that's incredible. Uh, you know, the, the amount of players that have moved. And obviously, the, the biggest piece was, you know, Kyrie and, and Kevin, which snowballs everything. Because uh, this is the first time in the NBA, there's probably seven or eight teams who said we can win it. Uh, typically, there's two or three. And so when those two teams made the move to try to win it, the other teams have to follow. They have to make smaller moves, big moves, or whatever. Uh, you know, you might say, what, you know, Kevin Durant is a big move. But, you know, I'm just going back into even to when our era, when Mario Alley came to our team, People didn't think that was a big move. That was a guy who helped us win an NBA championship in a big way. He played multiple positions, and he was a key member of that. That so, can be like a Jay Crowder to Milwaukee move. 100%. Yeah. It, it could be what P.J. Tucker was two years ago with the, uh, when, uh, you know, uh, as well. So those guys kind of can make differences that you might not realize make the biggest difference. The biggest takeaway here, there is no quiet. There is no quiet move. There is no loud move. There's just moves. And people would like to say it or not say it. Um, the, the, the biggest piece to me is the Los Angeles Clippers because they have no guards on their, no point guards on their roster right now. So with, with Lou moving Schroeder. So the best destination for Russell Westbrook is the Los Angeles Clippers because he fits in and he doesn't have to do be Russell Westbrook and get 20 points and triple doubles. He could be in and be in. And Tyrone Lou is a guy who can – really coach and really handle Yeah, they, they added Eric Gordon to that well, mix. They got Bones Highland no from point Utah. Well, yeah, I know. And and, uh, well, and who's the, and also Mason Plumley yeah, uh, well, to back up Zubats. Well, all that's well and good. I still think Denver, I'm not going to disrespect the Nuggets. I think they're still the favorite. I think the two big winners were my Phoenix Suns, uh, and the Los Angeles Lakers. Shout out to Rob Palenka. He's really made a huge difference in the last two weeks. Where does this put Phoenix, Shaq, in, uh, in, in terms of a Western Conference title? On the paper, it definitely puts them in the discussion. And, you know, in my opinion, it is a championship of bus year. But Kenny, you know, we talk about little moves, and, you know, I love the others. That Jay Crowder to Milwaukee. 
It brings toughness. It brings a guy could, that can, you know, defend. It, you know, it brings a guy that's a great team player, and it's a guy that can hit a clutch shot in, in clutch moments. I like that move. I'm gonna be paying attention to that move. But back to your question, it puts them up there in conversation. But I think they have to get it done this year. Kevin's getting older. Chris is getting older, and now with the mid-range mafia, that's what they're calling now. They're going to be very, very dangerous offensively. I didn't like them giving up young fella because he was a great, you know, defensive player. But Mikael Bridges. Yes, Mikael Bridges. But you know, offensively, they're, they're very potent. And if those two guys can play together and, and, and play with high efficiency, they're going to be very, very, very dangerous to beat. I think to me, the key for my sons is going to be the the, the uh, guys they release mm -hmm. uh, because. Chris is older, but you got two guys, KD and Booker. We haven't even mentioned DeAndre Aiden yet. Yeah. He going to benefit playing with those guys. But I really need to see a list. Well, who do you, who do you still do? You have campaign coming off the bench. You got T.J. Warren, who they picked up with Durant. T.J. Warren's been hurt yeah. as well. A lot yeah. Of year. But, but and, that, and, that's not going to yeah. get it done. The West is so good now. You're going to need a good bench. You can't go to war with just KD, Booker, and Aiden because the West is so loaded. If they play the Clippers, the Lakers now, haven't even mentioned Memphis, your bench is going to be really, really important. So the buyout market, like Chris says, they're going to have, and they're gonna have to get some big bodies. You just mentioned campaign. He's a little guy. TJ Warren's a smaller guy. He's about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, there. But I'm talking about after that. They gave up a lot. So I think the buyout market, I'm going to be watching that for my sons. Our starting unit, we're good to go. But to, to win three series just to get to the finals, your bench is going to be huge.